sending the Corsairs out. Why didn't you try to kill the Overlords before sending your DT in? Um, I think you uh, losing Corsairs in the beginning is really bad, and I you, you usually like leave like five stars so you can kill scourges without losing your stars. So it's bad to send them before that. Because you know, Sir has the spire, and there are courses right now. Okay, so that's why you didn't send the corsairs out, and yeah, e even without sending the corsairs out, it's not worth delaying the DT. Uh, well, it depends on the build, but with this build, what you want to do basically is send one DT to to his to each base and check out what he's doing. Like, if he's going Idras, Lurks, uh, or Mut or Mutus. Well, your first DT did, get, did pick up some nice kills, and you're transitioning into a pretty standard uh, speed slot army with some storm. And you're going to you're going to throw down your third, and most first officers don't throw down their, their third this early without going for some kind of timing attack to protect it. Why is the third safe? Uh, um. Well, because I saw he got his fourth. And because I've got a bunch of horses so I, and DTs, so I can keep him on his bases long enough so so you can pump out Templars and enough Silots. Right. But so basically, I try, you you should try to get your third if you think you are you can get away with it. Like it's, if you are sure you are gonna get away with it. But most of the time I. I'll get a robo and all the tech and a bunch of gates before getting a third. It has to do a lot with the build, I think. Like, this build is all about getting a fast third and then not getting a huge echo to five greedy circles like this one who, ha who has seven hatches and four bases. Okay. So, um, nope. there we go. So now, uh, Zerg gets to this position a lot, where they're they're sitting on four bases, they're pecking up to Hive, and Hive will be done relatively soon. And the Protoss is only on three. What's the, uh, how, how do the Protoss prevent getting overwhelmed by Zerg at this point of the game? Well, when you have three bases and he has four, you can actually make a lot more units cost efficiently till he gets to hide. So you've got a good window, timing window, for you to either attack him or to get a fourth and be on even bases. You should use your judgment to, to know what's better. Like there is no definitive answer to if it's better to get a fourth or try to attack him. You stopped building Corsairs. And uh, when, when Kid Canada was on, he was talking about how he likes to just keep building Corsairs, even into the late game. He just likes to continue to add to his Corsairs numbers. Um, and you seem to have stopped at five, which you mentioned is the uh, magic number for one shot excursion with the plus one. Do you um, do you disagree that uh, it's important to continue to produce Corsairs into the late game? Um, I think it depends a lot on what the Surge is doing and what you're good at. Like my my course on Miku is good, but I usually I can I'm not really good at multitasking. So for late game, I think it's not good for me. And also because the Zerg went for mass seed graph for a bunch from a bunch of hatcheries, and I need gas to get Templars and observers. And Corsairs aren't that effective against Idros. But like if he had done Muda Mutus, 
I would have kept pumping first and delayed, for example, my storm. So it comes down to the game situation. Okay, so at this point in the game, I think I'm behind him. Like, I've got a bunch of uh, supply-wise, I'm doing good, but he's got four expos and a hive, and he's getting a three expo. So you have to try something. All right. Um. So. Can you elaborate a little bit more on what caused you to want to try something? Is it just the fact that he was getting up to Hive? Uh, yeah, because, like, when Hive is kicks in, sir gets a huge advantage, and you gotta do something. And because when Hive is just done, it's the weakest point of his army, like, it's your best timing. I think he made a mistake by sending his army to the other side because I could get away with all the storms yeah. it was the only reason I could make so much damage so even though you did lose your army does taking out that many lurkers count as making something happen? yeah because I took his army down and most of his echo and Another thing I want to point out, which I think is really important, is that in PvC you keep it. While you are attacking, you just pump out a bunch of silos from your gate. Like, you can see four goons survive, and they will just melt, but when, when tens more silos come, it's a lot of units will start to kill when his army went small. Like you can see that they are coming, they don't look that nice because they come from two paths. But they are like the key factor in whether a uh, timing attack works or not. Okay, I, I can consider that. Like if you watch uh, a bot from Orang 2, you can see he does this a lot really nicely. That's where I pick it from. Of, of all the people to learn PvZ from, you picked Orang too? <laughs> well, his timings of attack are really nice. I think he kind of makes up for the fact that he isn't that good on that matchup by doing great timing attacks. Like, I can recall three or four where, where he just wins from from a good solid build and good timing attack. So here you can see that silots keep coming and he can't really defend. And at the same time I'm trying to expand. And actually these speed locks are being very effective. Uh, when you first attacked I was thinking to myself, you had a little bit too heavy of a goon army, but it makes sense in retrospect that if your plan is to continue to reinforce the timing attack with lots and lots of speed locks, you would want and a little bit too many goons to start out with. It seems to be uh, working out very well. You're going to be able to clean up these two bases. Yeah, like, you, if this was, like, perfectly executed, I would come out with a goon templar on me, and when I was getting to where he's not at, where he's not is, the first wave of silots would be coming out, and it would be, like, perfect, like, an er even earlier time. That's going to be the end of the game. So, um, in that game, I'm going to ask.